Yeah. All right, in lighter news, we know the name and face very well. Former Marcos Denise kicker Kristen Muir. Uh, she is someone we followed in the Valley for many, many years now. In fact, remember, she became the first female athlete to score in an AIA state title game back in 2015. Yeah, well, Kristen once again defied the odds now after making history on the football field, Cam. Yeah, Luke Lydon has the really amazing story of this truly incredible young woman who just pulled off a J.J. Watt-style comeback. Hey, Luke. Hey, Cam. Yeah, Kristen had her eyes set on becoming a personal trainer after graduating high school until one day that all changed. But the one thing you may not have known is she is a fighter, one who will confront any challenge in her way. And it's time now to spotlight Muir's inspirational road to recovery in tonight's Sunday Showcase. Big step on the right leg, little step with the left. Each step is one Kristen Muir was told she would likely never take again. Walking uphill, you gotta lean into it all. And then that is when the doctor was like, you're probably not gonna walk again. It was late January 2021 when Muir was involved in a rollover car crash. She suffered a broken vertebrae, damage to her spinal cord, and partial paralysis from the waist down. While the car was going out of control, I was closing and opening my eyes because I was kind of like waiting for it to be done. A fraction of a moment that turned her life upside down. Like while I was hanging, like waiting to get out of the car, I felt like it was like, boom, like that's when it changed. And I was like, all right, here we go. Paramedics rushed her into surgery and told her afterwards she would only have a 50-50 chance to ever walk again. But her fighting spirit never wavered. And we're trying to get her root system connected to the ground. Just two days after surgery, Kristen was met with a glimmer of hope. I can flex this quad. I can flex this quad. And I can kick. From the bed, she progressed to a wheelchair, and from there, to a walker. But it wasn't until she stepped inside Chad Dunn's gym. Big right, little left. Big right. Little where she realized the strength living within her. I've learned that it's kind of like endless um, and that I'm stronger than I think. You can feel the rods, you can feel the screws that are in there. So we're releasing all the soft tissue. So there's a different mindset that's involved with these comebacks. Give me, give me 50, okay, give me 50. From the treadmill okay. to regaining her balance. If there's happened to be a windstorm, I want her to be the last tree standing. Muir knows her road to recovery isn't easy. This is a very long journey, but it definitely is one that you can overcome. A journey towards a new life, not possible without done by her side. I am, and I was really grateful for him coming into my life and helping and just making such a big impact. I can have her still jumping here and getting her back into the thing where she thought maybe I'm never gonna be able to leave the ground again. Now we can. <laughs> Each time Muir works with Dunn. The weight's gonna move back around, the center of mass is gonna move, and we're loosening up everything in the upper spine. She's reminded the impossible is nothing. Right, walk up into it, just give me a little shot. Perfect. Each step, each challenge, pushing Muir closer to her dream of kicking a football once again. It is definitely a motivator that pushes me every day. Until a year since leaving the hospital, that dream manifesting into reality. What an inspiration she is. Truly an amazing comeback story. I absolutely love it. Kristen says in the meantime, she'll keep working on her walk, get it a little straighter, and hopefully one day be able to jog and keep pace with other athletes. I have no doubt she will.